A very warm morning to the respected judges, teachers and my fellow students. I am Sandhya Yadav of class 4th team. What inspires us the most? Dreams, passion, role model, etc. Everything needs some inspiration, isn't that? I am here to tell you a story that will definitely inspire you. The title of my story is Spark of Inspiration. I want you all to visualize the story in your mind and feed it with me. There was a little kid who used to study in the fifth grade. Everyone in his class thought that he was one of the dumbest kids in his class. His grades were so less that he himself thought the same. His report card showed his poor progress in his class, but that didn't bother him. He used to say to his mom, it doesn't matter very much. His mother knew that her boy was not reaching his full potential at school. So she said three rules for him to follow. Number one, he would be allowed to watch only two pre-selected TV shows per week. Number two, he had to finish his homework before he could watch TV or play outside. Number three, he had to read two books from the library each week and write a book report on each of them. Kid was dismayed at these new rules and tried very hard to talk his mother out of them but his mother stood firm. As we all know our mothers, we can't say no to them. They only listen? Yes. Kid couldn't think of disobeying his mother, so he had to follow those new rules. Before long, he saw the fruits of his labor. When he was the only one who knew the answer to a question, the teacher asked the class. His teachers and classmates were surprised that a kid who used to get the lowest score was now able to correctly answer such hard questions. Kid was surprised himself and realized that his knowledge came from the books he was reading. He began to surmise that if he could learn just a few facts from the books, at the library he could learn anything. Kid continued on his path of growth and became an academic leader in his school. Kid had learned to read books and realized that he could channel his love for reading into learning. Mother knew what her boy was capable of, decided not to settle for less and gave him a structured way to do it. A boy who was thought to be the dumbest kid in the class became a world famous surgeon. That boy is Benjamin Carson who is now a famous and renowned neurosurgeon, author and politician. The moral of the story is, everyone has capability. One just needs to believe in it and follow a disciplined way to fully utilize that capability. On the upcoming weekend, you can watch the movie Gifted Hands or read his books. These sources provide a first-hand account of his experiences and his extraordinary life.